Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a prayer request in the comments I'd like to share with everybody so that you could please pray for this man. All right, Corrine Shepherd has posted earlier today, this is Sunday now, April 26th, and it's 5.49 p.m. Okay, she said, Miss Jeannie and others, will you please pray today for my 81-year-old dad? His name is Bruce. He has the chills and stomach ache. He cannot get this bug. He has other conditions, heart disease. Also, we're in Michigan where we're getting hit hard. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but uh, are they trying to tell you all that you got really a whole lot of cases of COVID? Okay, remember that they're calling anybody with any kind of respiratory condition with COVID. And they're trying to make people, to make you afraid, to keep your masks on, and keep your distance, and stay at home. It's all part of the plan. So I just wanted you to relax about that. Not that, not that we don't um, follow the rules, but I want you to, to understand it's, it's kind of like we're practicing for the real thing. Washing our hands. If we all just get in the habit of doing that, get in the habit of if you're going to go to the grocery store, why not wear a mask? What, you know, who wants a cold in the summer? You can get a bad cold in the summer and be miserable and yet still have to go to work because you go to work with a cold and it's miserable. So anyway, I'm just saying... If nothing else comes out of this this uh, live exercise that they're doing, at least we'll all come out of it with a higher degree of uh, understanding that things are certain things are contagious. And did you know the common cold is caused by the coronavirus? Yeah. What's going around right now is the manipulated one, which is why it's called COVID nineteen. And it did come out of the Wuhan lab after it came out of Fort Detrick. So, yeah, it was manipulated. And uh, people like this gentleman here that's 81 and already has conditions could, you know, the annual flu could cause him, cause him you know, I hate to say it, but, you know, it, this is the very type of person that's dying from this COVID because it's like the flu and causes pneumonia. Okay, so that's what we have to fight. So let's pray for Bruce that he doesn't get, um, nobody brings it into their home. It, you're not saying, um, it says, yeah, you don't say that, is he at the hospital? Is he at home? Um, let me see four replies here. Let's see if there's anything here. She says, Laurie says, yes, ma'am, praying for your father. Uh, Tess is praying for your, you and your dad. Uh, okay, so you didn't add anything about it. So I'm assuming he's at home, but I don't, I don't like to assume anything. So anyway... Whatever it is, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I ask you to reach out your healing hand upon this man named Bruce. Despite his age, we know that you can heal bugs. <laughs> People get stomach bugs and they, I guess they can cause a fever as well as abdominal distress. And, and when we want, with him already having these other conditions... Who needs more, right? So, Lord, please, 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 we please heal this man of this and help him to be comfortable and be able to eat and to at least get down fluids today. And, Corrine, my advice is don't let him, don't let him suffer at home long if he, throws up or has diarrhea
for more than 24 hours. Tomorrow, make sure you get him something from the pharmacy. Find a pharmacy that delivers if you can. Um, you need something. I uh, can't remember the name of it, but your pharmacist will know. Some little bitty pills that help stop diarrhea if, he, if it gets to that. And, of course, uh, ginger ale helps with any uh, nausea. Um, just call a doctor if you have to, if it goes on for more than 24 hours. Because any kind of stomach flu is usually over in 24 hours. With people who already are sick with other things, could go on longer and doesn't need to. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. I ask everybody to please pray for Bruce. I'll be praying for him also. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. The internet connection. And my computer and over each and every one of you and your devices as well. And your internet connections. And with... Um... Oh, I'm over here. You want to see Doggy Heaven? And there's my little buddy. There's my little buddy up in Doggy Heaven. There it is. One of my subscribers named it that. So the title of that piece of art is now Doggy Heaven. Alright. I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.